So it's day two of our project. We've got the basement semi cleaned out and then it was time to do a little shopping. So I've spent probably a half hour between Amazon, grow shops online, getting supplies, Home Depot, that was another fantastic resource, getting supplies, so those are all on their way. And then this morning, I went and did a little Craigslist shopping. And let me show you what I've got. Yeah, that's right, six grow lights, six of them thousand waters and they're actually decent magnetic uh, HIDs so they should last from what I've been reading and from what I'm told so they should do a pretty good job and I was able to pick up all six for 400 bucks which isn't too stinking bad for six lights so we're initially gonna start with two of them but for 400 bucks I'm gonna buy all of them especially because he threw in a bonus one that doesn't switch between the uh, the metal halide and the high pressure sodium it's stuck on metal halide well I'm planning on eventually having a, a veg tent anyway so for free I got that ballast so bonus so let's get these suckers moved into the house I had to stop and fuel up with some Christmas cookies because they're delicious. I'll be with you in a minute. Stairs suck a lot. In this shitty lighting, you probably can't see it, but that's sweat. That sweat on my forehead. In all these grow videos I watch on YouTube, and in all these grow journals I read, you never hear anyone talk about sweat. Why am I sweating profusely? This isn't fun. Well, it's confession time, and I have to admit, I've done an absolute piss poor job of documenting this whole build out process. So it was fully my intention to get everything filmed, time lapse so you guys could actually see the build. What ended up happening was the kids were home a lot, the wife was home a lot, and they were in the big middle of everything while I was trying to get stuff done. And I'm just not gonna put them in any of these videos. So I ended up doing the vast majority of the build without any recording whatsoever. So I apologize, it is what it is. Let's go see our progress. So as you can see, I've done things a little differently than I originally planned. My, my original plan was to, let's see if we can do this, move all that wood back there out into the middle of the room. I was gonna wall off that little section and have that be a temporary grow room. Well, the more I started thinking about it, the more the smell was gonna be an issue. 
maintaining the climate was going to be an issue because I'm doing a hydroponic system. I wanted to be able to maintain humidity and everything. So it was just going to be too difficult with that uh, loosely enclosed of a space. So I ended up ordering a grow tent online, had that come in. Um, and we've just, yeah, we've kind of made it work. So I cleared out the middle of the room. We've got that set up. So let me take you around the room and we'll take a look at how everything's set up. I'll kind of walk you through the different pieces, what I ended up buying, and we'll kind of keep a tally of our budget and see where we're at. So as we walk into the room, the biggest thing you're gonna see in the first, pur first purchase I made was uh, this grow tent. This is a four by eight grow tent. Got that sucker off of Amazon. Uh, you know, nice, easy two day shipping. Was thrilled with that. You can see that sets up nicely. I've got all sorts of ports there for eight inch inline fans, all that business. So first thing on our budget, grow tent. Um, since we're here, all the nutrients I'm gonna be using. So you've got the general hydroponics three part system there. We've got CalMag, we've got pH down, and then we have this DC root, which is a root descaler. Um, that was I don't even remember how much that was, but that's a fair chunk of money sitting right there for all our nutrients. Right here we've got hydrogen pellets, and then here's all of my leftover bulkhead fittings, plumbing fittings, uh, all of that stuff. I've actually got some electrical back there as well. So that's all of the stuff that we use to build this sucker. So let's open our tent up here. So you can see I am set up to have four plants. The idea is I'm just gonna do four big plants instead of doing uh, a massive heap of small plants. So I've got the four 27 gallon totes from the Home Depot and uh, sitting in those, I've got these eight inch net pots. Or maybe those are six inch, I'm sorry. Those are six inch net pots filled with the hydrogen pellets. I've got my little uh, temperature and humidity gauge there. And then you can see the other plumbing. Well, I didn't show you the first plumbing, did I? So on the back side of these guys, you can see my two inch pipe that hooks all of these totes together. And that is the drain that goes out to this guy right here, which is my control reservoir. Uh, this is gonna go away. This is just temporary while I was pumping it full of water. So control reservoir, we'll pop that open. I've got two 486 or whatever gallon pumps uh, in this that is recirculating that water back into these totes. So I don't have any aeration uh, because I'm going for a waterfall system. So hopefully I can save on air stones and an air pump. Uh, why don't you guys comment below and tell me how poor of a choice that is because that's what YouTube is good at. Up top, we've got our lights, which you guys saw earlier in the video, me bringing all those in. All of my extras are tucked away back there. Um, I've also got my uh, inline fan. It's an eight inch fan, and I wanna say it does like 700 something cubic feet a minute. Um, that's hanging from those nifty little retainers up there. Retainers, clips, dangles. I don't know what the you call them. Uh, right behind that, you can see I've got right there my timer plugged in. That is a digital timer that then is connected to that box right there. That's my light controller. It's a four light controller. And basically it runs off of 240, which is the orange line you see in the back right there. Um, that's my 240N and then it uses a 120 uh, plug just to you to trigger a relay to turn your lights on up here I've got my two ballasts. These are old uh, magnetic ballasts because I've been reading online and a bunch of people They were all over the board for digital versus electronic ballasts So I found a guy in Craigslist that was getting rid of a bunch of old magnetics. They're tried and true They're tanks. So I went with those because of cheap. I may upgrade later. We'll see so we've got our lights, we've got our light controller, we've got our digital timer. Uh, that's a chunk of money there. Let's see here, all of our plumbing we talked about. And then we've got this sucker right here. This is my sub panel. Uh, that sucker 
along with the breakers, the wire to feed it. Um, we're, we're putting the last touches on that. That's gonna be done probably either this afternoon or tomorrow. I've just gotta tie that into the main panel. Um, so basically I've got my light circuit here and then I've got two outlets currently, well, two circuits, four outlets for fans, pumps and all that business. The, oh, you're, you're probably thinking that's way overkill for what I'm doing. Yes, you're right. The idea behind this, as I stated in my first video is, eventually I'm going to remove everything out of this whole room and grow in the entire room, which is why I went for that guy instead of a little four circuit, you know, sub panel. So that's the story behind that guy. Now, another thing we wanna look at, you're probably wondering what that is coming out of the tote. Well, my friends, that hooks to that over there. And what I can do is take one of my little pumps, put it right there, hook it with a couple pieces of tubing. Now I can pump my entire system down. Always fun following the lines, isn't it? Through here, through here, around there, to the sump. And the sump is how I'm gonna get all the water up out of the basement. What are those, you ask? Ah, that's another purchase. Those are my two 55 gallon barrels with an RO system on it. Those will take about three to four days to fill up. Um, I just filled my totes last night and this was just shy of the amount of water. I think I was down to about this mark right here on the barrel by the time I was done filling those totes. So we have an RO system, we have our two 55 gallon drums. Then I've got a little float valve in there that will take care of shutting that off. So that is my setup. So I've got all these valves here. So basically what I can do when I want to empty my totes out in the grow, I'll flip those valves open. That one's open. I'll flip that one open and leave that one closed. That's going to allow the water to run to the sump. And then when it's all finished draining, I'm going to close that one. I'm gonna leave that open and I'm gonna open that one. And then I will reverse my pump out there and it will start pulling all that water into my totes. So I don't really have a whole lot of mess going back and forth in through here. Uh, the hose and everything is just like kind of left over for me building and testing and everything because it's the way I didn't want to test with RO water, obviously, for leaks. I'm just using plain water. So this will all get cleaned up. Um, so this is kind of, I think I'm sitting right about the two grand mark, whatever, whatever the number is up there in the corner is probably gonna be more accurate than what I'm telling you, but I think I'm right around the two grand mark on this build and that's enough to do four plants. Obviously with this size tent, you could do substantially more plants if you wanted to do, you know, scrog or sea green or whatever. But, uh, but like I said, just for ease of the first grow, I'm just gonna focus on having four plants. Um, eventually, when we get to flower, I do intend to get a carbon filter and put that there, but you know, there's no need to get that right off the bat. So that's a cost that uh, I haven't, you know, expended on, but that sentence didn't even make any sense, did it? That's an expense that I haven't spent money on yet because I'm trying to keep costs down up front. Um, so, but we will get a carbon filter down the road. I'm trying to think if there's much else. I mean, I'm pretty well set. I should have plants here probably within the next three days and we'll have this system running. So you guys are probably wondering why are your clothes different? Well, for you guys, you're watching this in real time. For me, this has been a process of about two days making this video. But I wanted to kind of just recap the video and say that's my system. We did pretty well not breaking the bank, putting it together. Uh, the only thing I've got left to do is hook up power and then we'll start filling the reservoir. I should have clones coming here in the next, I don't know, three or four days. We'll get those popped in and uh, I'll try to do a better job of documenting that whole process. So in the meantime, have a good one and we'll see you on the next episode.